Ladies and gentlemen, I am Yusuf, the game is half sewn, and welcome once again to Scrub of the Arena. I'll probably not bother with the reverb effects, those just went horribly wrong last time. Anyhow, standard rules, admission via gold, 150, and I have a choice, hunter, warrior, or shaman. None of which I have any experience with. Well, I have experience with them, I just tends to be on the getting my face kicked in vein of experience. So let's go with the Hunter. The hunt begin. Thank you, Rexar. Because if nothing else, we can have some fun with an Unleash the Hounds deck if it'll give me the option. So, don't really have spells in this deck, so Gadgetzan and Violet Teacher aren't much use to me. We'll have the Twilight Drake as a no-brainer. Uh, Hunter's Mark as a Quick bit of room. Yes, Unleash the Hounds, that's the first key card I need. Starving Buzzard is another one. So is Scavenging Hyena. Uh, do, 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 do. What to go for, what to go for. Could pull out... Let's have an Ardent Squire as a possible turn one opener. Animal Companion, Deadly Shot, or Arcane Shot. That's actually a tricky decision. Arcane Shot, two damage, but targetable. Deadly Shot, kill, good way of getting rid of something in the late game, but random. Animal Companion, synergizes nicely with the Starving Buzzard and the Hyena, but again, it's random, and it tends only to give you early to mid game in, so we'll have Deadly Shot, I think. What else? Uh, do, 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 freezing trap. Hmm. All minions cost one more as a mana wraith. Good way of slowing down an opponent. But it also affects me. All minions cost one more. Ancient Mage doesn't really help me. Spell damage plus one. Not many spells in the hunter deck. Two fives, not great. So we'll have the Blade Master, I think. Right. Who else? Um, Molten Giant could consider. Big Game Hunter is a late game removal. If I want it, not too much running around with an attack of seven or more, though. Let's have a Faceless Manipulator. Timberwolf again for the synergies. Unleash the Hounds a second time. And we'll have a Ravenholt Assassin. What was I saying about not getting too many seven? Attack minions. Anyhow, Razorfen Hunter. Again, the ball counts as a beast, so we'll have that. And Spellbreaker for the Silence effect. What else to go for? Flesh Eating Ghoul. Now that, again, synergizes up with the beasts if I wanted to. Uh, could go for Acolyte of Pain. Could go for the Novice Engineer. We'll have the Novice Engineer, I think. A bit of deck searching. Another River Crocolis. Another beast. Second Scavenging Hyena. Uh, do, 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 do. Technically, the angry chicken counts as a beast. And if nothing else, it'll be good for a laugh. Uh, could go for another timber wolf again, synergies and all that. Could also go for animal companion this time. Technically, that's a spell, isn't it? Uh, let's have the timber wolf. And we'll also have the strength of the tiger. And the snapjaw. Very much a beast deck here. <laughs> Storm and Night, I want the charge option on that. Corehound, late game heavy hitter. A third Timberwolf if I want it. I've got no taunt, however. So we'll pull in the Goblin. And a second Corehound. Ooh, unleash the Hounds again! Ooh, this could be nasty. And... Mm, deadly Shot or Mogashan Warden. As I think I said, I am short on taunts, but I'm also short on removal. Let's have the Deadly Shot. And finally, the Savannah High Main, which gives me a solid death rattle and a lot of summons. So, basic game plan is going to be to get the buzzards and the timber wolves out, and then unleash the hounds around about turn 5 or 6. And if this goes wrong, I am in so, so much trouble. Let's see what happens, ladies and gentlemen, to battle. Well, to a game of cards, but it's, 
It's a battle of a kind, a battle of wits, of strategy, and I'm not convincing anybody, am I? <sighs> right. Okay, so going first, so the Argent Squire's the turn one opener. We'll lose the assassin for the moment, hang on to unleash the hounds. And oh good, so that gives me Divine Shield on turn one, Hyena on turn two, and then break out on the Hounds around about turn three. Nice and straightforward opener there, depending on what he pulls out. So do, 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 do. Of course he may just have the sense to start beating down the hyena if he knows what to expect from a hunter at this state of the metagame. But there's only really one way to find out. Yamo. No. Yamo. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Okay, that's a pass. We'll get the hyena out. I fight. And smack him in the Not face. Done. Right now, are you expecting an Unleash the Hounds run from me? Because that would explain why you're not pulling out minions just yet. I really do need to get the buzzard up as well, however. Okay, so he's coined, and what do we have coming? Right. Okay, could Unleash the Hounds. Could. It's a bit of a waste. I will lose the hyena next turn if I don't kill it somehow. However, on the downside, 1-1-1-1. One, 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 one. Basically, I can't get rid of it. So I am going to have to go for one, go for two, and that was a mistake. I No, because then I would have had to trade the Argent Squire away as well. So it wasn't a mistake, but he is going to kill off my hyena, which is a little awkward. Let the pain speak to me. Yeah, there we go. That's as expected. Right, deadly shot at this stage isn't really worth it. Uh, I could break out Unleash the Hounds. That would give me two 1-1 one, one Hounds. Unfortunately, I don't then have the synergies from the Buzzard, so it's a bit awkward. I can also pull out the Spellbreaker, take down the Destruction Effect, and then trade the Shield on the Warden to get rid of it. Deadly Shot's still too random, and neither of those are really worth the effort. No, I think we'll pull out the spell break. Disguise the fact that I have got Unleash the Hounds for the moment. So that takes down the Cobra. And then we will drop the rest of it. Unfortunately, I am probably going to lose the Argent Squire next turn. That's fine. It kind of did its job. Got a bit of damage out of it as well. There we go. So he now gets the card draw from the Acolyte of Pain. And if he breaks out some more minions, well, that gives me possibilities. Do, 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 do. Mind if I roll need? And okay, that was unexpected. Fine, it's still a four damage trade each way. What have I drawn? Timberwolf. Okay, that offers a few options. We'll pull out the Timberwolf. So that gives me the plus one attack. Then we'll pull out Unleash the Hounds anyway. I was hoping for some synergies, but you know what? Let's just go for it. And then we will simply shut down his board. And then shoot him in the face. Okay, so 30 to 18, he has been able to mill his deck a bit, which is a little awkward. And... That 1-1 one, one is now looking very exposed, so if he pulls out a Stampede in Kodo... Oops. <laughs> okay, turn six. Right. I could Deadly Shot. That would guarantee me getting rid of the Kodo. 
that's a no brainer for a start. Deadly shot does let me shut him down fairly accurately. On the other hand, it's a 3 5, and I can kinda take it. On the other hand, okay, let's say for a moment I don't deadly shot, I let the Kodo have its mm. run on turn 6, he gets something else out. Turn 7 I pull out the Core Hound, he 3 fives plus that Core Hound dies. Right. Deadly shot it is then. Enter. Okay, so Ravenholt Assassin. Next turn, I think. Use the stealth to keep it secure for a bit. And then we'll pull out the Core Hound and consider breaking out the Manipulator as well. Okay, so we have a Demolisher, the light protects me. an Argent Squire, and Armour. Okay, he is short on cast, but I don't know the fact that he's sitting on so much of a hand. Right. Ravenholty comes out, goes into stealth. Not an immediate danger. Of course, we do then have some random damage, and the damage from the Squire and the Demolisher coming in. Next turn, Tiger, Core Hound or Manipulator. I can do one of them. I may get something else in the deck draw. We shall see. What are you considering breaking out, I wonder? Ah, try this. Okay. Blood and plunder. Right, so he's now got a cheap taunt. Right. Okay, well, let's get the core hound out there. And use the Ravenholt assassin to dispose of his attack. He will then have to probably trade off the Arathi Weaponsmith to get rid of the Assassin, but he can't then get rid of the Core Hound. I can break out Faceless Manipulator. Unless he brings out... Oh, for heaven's sake! Ugh! That's awkward. Right. So much for duplicating my Core Hound. On the bright side, he's probably going to have to trade away quite a bit, unless he has Execute in his hand, in which case he can simply run the Argent Squire in, use Divine Shield to keep it safe, and then use Execute to finish off the core. Okay, are you just going for the bypass? No, you aren't. Right, so bang, there's the trade, and this is about to get very, very painful. I may have horribly miscalculated with a lack of taunts. Right, ow, 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 ow. Right, so... We'll pull out the Tiger, the Crocolisk, and we'll shoot him in the face. <sighs> He's got a solid advantage at this point. Now, he can run the Arathi Weaponsmith into the Crocolisk, and that will kill it and survive. He can then run the rest into Rexar. He can't duplicate the... Well, they can't kill the tiger just well yet. Played. Attacking a minion costs one. Of Ouch! Where did that come from? Ow, 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 ow! Okay, I just got utterly slaughtered there, didn't I? Oh, wow. What a beating. Okay, um... Not sure where that went wrong. Which may just be further evidence of my incompetence. Let's try again! Ugh, that was horrid. As always, ladies and gentlemen, any comments, suggestions, advice, I'm open to them. Ugh. <laughs> right, this could be interesting. Okay, who's Unleash the Hounds is going to pop out first. I'm going first, which is awkward. Okay. Okay, let's... Let's hang on to that for the moment, because that's a semi-decent opener.
Right, so unleash the hounds is fine, so that gives me an option. Scavenging hyena going into turn two, I think. Okay, pull out the hyena. And go. the pain. Okay, so that's his 2-2. Two, two. So, pull out the injured Blade Master. There we go. And... I'm gonna try to keep the synergies going for a bit. I don't know the fact that that critical venture is going to ramp up very rapidly because I'm going to have to trade my injured blade master if I'm not getting this. So that's 1-1. One, one. Now are you going to go for the trade? No. Okay. Right, let's just go for the fast beatdown and storm and knight and rapidly oh, no. shut down his questing adventurer. Your turn to bleed. And then in the face. Short and sweet. If he breaks out to unleash the hounds at this stage, it well, it could be worse. What is he sitting on? Multi shot. Damn it. Okay, now sitting on both Unleash the Hounds. If I need him, we'll get the Booty Bay Bodyguard out. Hit him in the face again. Short and simple. Okay, turn six. A lot depends on what he decides to break out. Multi shot of heaven. Set. Well, normally I'd assume that he'd got rid of both his multi shots, but of course he hasn't at this stage because this is arena. He can have more than two of a card. So Timberwolf's my principal play there. Unleash the Hounds is useless because he's got no minions on the board. In the face. Right. Next turn, Ravenholt or. Core Hound, it doesn't much matter. Ravenholt, however, does have a better survival shot. What was I saying about having more than two multi shots? Okay. Right. Okay, so Ravenholt Assassin, get that out and stealth it. Like so. And at this stage, I can take him down to two health without too much difficulty. Uh, then again, maybe I can't. Join or die, or both. Right, so... We'll bring out the Core Hound. And we'll bring out the Arjun Squire as well. And do I take down the Patriarch? Yes, I do. <laughs> Problem solved. Okay, it does let him mill his deck rather effectively because he gets the bonus from the Cult Master. Fine by me unless he has a... How many multi-shots have you got in that deck? And then he gets the bear. And now he... No, kill the core hound, mate. Kill the core hound. Yeah, there's the trade. Okay. Second core hound comes out. And we will unleash the hounds once. Okay, doesn't really help, but... Let's get rid of his torch. Trading the assassin is a little suboptimal. And then in the face. Okay, so he's got to get rid of Core Hound. What's he got? And that's that. Right, not quite a standard play for an Unleash the Hounds deck, but I have no idea what he thought when he was designing a deck with, what was that, three, four multi-shots? Ah, who cares, let's go again. Round three, ding, ding, ding. Rick! 
Alexa versus Brawl. Right, I have a bad. Okay. Right, that's actually a pretty solid opener. Um. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So, can Coin and Hyena on turn one then bring the Timberwolf out on turn two? Okay, he has Overload, which shuts him down rather effectively. Uh, now, I could... He's Overloaded, so this turn, he won't be able to do very much next turn. Now, I could put the Timberwolf out there but he will simply slam Rexar once or even twice with it. So you know what, let's just go for it. Pull you out. And then see what he does, because he can't do anything this turn because of the overload room. There we go, so that's one, and then in two. Okay, I am now curious. So he went for the direct beatdown, which is not really a surprise. So we'll pull out the scavenging hyena like so, and then we're going to sacrifice the Timberwolf to shut down that Dust Devil. Hyena gets the bonuses, goes up to a 4-3. Not too shabby. Um, I'm wondering if it's worth coining to get the Argent Squire out as well. Or if I should just hold off and try to get the Savannah High made out later. Hold off a bit, I think. I don't think he's got anything that can wipe out a 4-3 in one turn. Oh, I smell Okay, well, I can just smack that with the hyena. I've got Hunter's Mark if I need to get some fast removal. And tempted to get the Spellbreaker out. But again, I'd have to coin to do it. So you know what, I'm not going to. We'll pull out the Squire. Smack the totem in the face. And then shoot Thrall, also in the face. Do totems even have faces? Yeah, who cares. Right, so, are you going to trade away that infiltrator, or are you waiting for something to combo it with? Okay, and yeah, he's gone for ball clones. Again, he has basically shut himself down. Another tank totem? Lucky little git. Right, what do I have? Rig of a Crocolisk. Hmm. We'll get the River Crocolisk out. And then we will shoot Thrall in the face again. Now he's double overloaded this turn, so he's only got the one mana to work with. Can coin next turn, get the Savannah High Mount. He's just gone for the beatdown, hardly a surprise. I am. I don't like the amount of momentum I'm losing, it has to be said. So let's coin. And high moon. Gives me a 6 5 and a rather nasty death rattle on the board. It would have been good to have had the starving buzzard or the hyena in play at this stage, but them's the breaks. So I can start making ground back at this point. Faceless manipulator next turn, get, essentially get a second hyena into play. Hyena? What am I talking about? High main. And then I can summon potentially 4-2-2 hyenas if I need to. So... Taunt and Overload. He's deploying a lot of Overload minions here. Okay, so... Yep, yeah, stick with the plan, I think. Faceless Manipulator. You know, I could copy this. That's very tempting. Rather than copying the hyena. Sorry, high main. Um, <laughs> a 7 8 taunt with no. Yes, I'm going to copy that because. And then we'll just hunters mark that. And we'll trade the crocodisk. Worthwhile, I think. And then in the face. Okay, now is he sitting on a hex? That is the question. Doesn't look like it. Okay. That's kind of expected. 
Right, I could deadly shot and get rid of the Yeti. Pull out the snap jaw while I'm here. Or even the blade. Injured Blade Master gives me a bit more attack next turn. Yeah, I think we'll get the Blade Master out. We'll deadly shot his Yeti. Get rid of that and keep the board well controlled. And then one and two. Right. You're in trouble, mate. What have you got to dig yourself out? Nothing, it would seem. Okay, not a bad run for the scrub of the arena, ladies and gentlemen. I will leave this episode here, and we will continue it next time. Until then, farewell, and remember that screenshot, that victory art. It doesn't come up very often. Farewell. <laughs>